let's just jump in. Okay, so last year I posted a video um, telling you guys what had happened and how I broke off my beautiful, luscious, long, gorgeous waist length hair. And so for those of you who know me, you know, I've been going through, it's going on the third week of trying to get my hair out of this very large, um, I was very large dread uh, so these little pieces um, I don't know if you can see this is a very hard one right here so I've been trying to get them out I've been able to pick little pieces out but this is one hard mass right here it feels like a Brillo pad and um, I was like all right well I'll just share I really don't want to because I'm not like a hair person but I'm just gonna share god I would not wish this on <laughs> I won't say my worst enemy I ain't got none <laughs> But people who don't like me, I wouldn't want you because I like my hair. And um, I just was like, all right, I'll put it on another channel. So if you want to know what's going on, just follow this other channel. I'll keep you updated. But the sad part about it, because I've cried a couple times because I do not want to cut my hair. People like, cut your hair. No, you cut your hair. I want my hair. But um, I have been so focused on trying to get this out. And now the back of my hair, because my hair goes to my waist, it is so mad. It is turning into its own dress. <laughs> I was like, seriously, God, what? So now for 45 minutes, I've been trying to get this knot out because this hair goes to my butt. But you can't see that right now. And this is just one B dread. So instead of my two twins, you know, since I was fast and took them out, now they're dreaded. I'm like... What? I do not want to cut my hair. And I know the longer it goes, and I know the more water I put in it. Like right now, it's a Brillo pad. It's so dry. And I'll explain to you what I did. But I'm trying to fix it. I mean, people do the best with the knowledge they have. And I am trying. I have spent hundreds of dollars on products and different things, and nothing is working. But it's just so sad that the back has decided to dread up, and I just am all out of. I'm all out of gun hole to try to get it out now. My hands are so swollen. They're so swollen. Like my nails stay moisturized. It's like hours and hours. It's so much moisture that they're falling off at the bed. Y'all pray for me. I can't even. I posted that video last year. And I was like, I'm going to update y'all. We going to grow together. No, no. I didn't realize how dramatic it was going to be. Because when I posted that video, I was on my way to go back home to go sit in a chair and get my hair cut. Oh, so, <laughs> uh, whew. just know that it was traumatic. It took me 30 days to get over it. I had protein overload in my hair. It knotted up. It matted up. You know, I was part of the Marbley family. Um, immediately I got inducted and then so um, it took I, I tried everything to get out. I had every product there was in life and nothing was working and I sought help and that wasn't working and I mean my mama was like baby we you let's just let's just cut it out and I was like okay but this right here look Look like a hat. Get through. I can't even look. It's just so. It's probably not even. It's so mad. It's like knots on top of knots. Like you, you pick the knots, and then there's a knot behind the knot. And I'm finally giving up. And I'm just gonna wait a couple more days until holidays and see what they can do. Oh my god. <laughs> So we went to school with Paul Mitchell because she knew Miss LB. She's an amazing stylist. And it didn't become real to me until I sat in that chair. I, listen, my hair, I didn't realize how much of a part of me it was. My hair defined me. My whip back and forth, my wet, my wet, all of that was who I am. Like, I identify, I have been with this hair for a long time. It matched my face. You know, I got like a long Oh, like a long face. I need like a swoop here. I need coils. I mean, I just felt, you know, truth be told, I don't, I'm a tall girl and I don't have a big rack in the front and in the backyard, you can't put a cup on it or a plate. You can't eat off it back there. Ain't no shelf. You know, I got a little 
little cuff. You know, so I don't have all these attributes. <laughs> I'm slim thick. That's what it is, you know, slim, a little thick. <laughs> but I had hair, and I just was like, well, at least I got hair. <laughs> so if I meet you, I'll be like, <laughs> and be like, that's your hair, you know. That's not a we. Oh my god, yeah, this is my hair. <laughs> So sitting in that chair just made it real, y'all. It 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 made it real. It, I didn't think it was gonna be that traumatic for me to handle it. So I had an attitude with myself, and I was trying to be positive when I sat down in her chair. And then when she did, it was like a movie. It was like slow motion. She took that cape, you know, they put on you it was like, foo, foo. and it was like, doo, 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 doo. Foo, foo. she put it around my neck. I was like, oh, oh, oh. and I could hear the scissors. And I saw the hair. And I was trying to hold it together. I was in the chair like. And my mama came with me <laughs> for support because she was still like, how did this happen? I'm Obi, and I am currently working on detangling a massive project right now. Uh, I have a client here who had a protein overload. She already had extremely low porous hair and it was actually really long and probably I would describe this as curly to extra curly hair texture um, and so her hair had began to coil around itself and kind of create some locks we really have like dreaded hair right now. That's intertwined. And right now I'm just trying to break it down the best way I can so that we salvage some of her length and salvage some of her hair formation, her hair curl formation during the process. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Oh my God. So I was trying to be positive. I was in the chair while she was cutting all the knots out. She was cutting. She was doing a good job. I was trying to, you know, not hear the scissors. And so I was looking at pictures of natural hair styles. And I was like, oh, Miss Obi, well, what, what about this? Do you think my hair can look like this? She was like, oh, uh, mm, maybe, maybe not maybe not that long. I was like, not that long. I was like, well, this, she was like, maybe more circular. So as she was cutting it, I was like, oh, my God. What is it going to look like? So, basically what she did first was she just cut out all the knots. There was no styling. There was no shaping. There was no cut in mind. It was just, we gonna cut these knots out. So, there was different a million trillion quadrillion lengths in my hair <laughs> once she cut it out. And I had an attitude with myself and I was feeling bad. And when she was like, okay, it's done. Let's wash it. Now, that was amazing. Y'all know the gorilla girl? I'm sorry. Not gorilla girl. Tessica, when she was like, I could finally feel my scalp. Y'all, girl, I understand. King Kong go wrong. Whatever they, you know, whatever it is with the Gorilla Glue, girl, I I, I, I feel you because I, my hair locked up. I couldn't feel my scalp for like over 30 days. And I did foolery. And truth be told, I, like all that conditioner and stuff was still in my head. It was like wet in areas for days and days and days. There's a reason why you don't leave that stuff in your hair for that long. When I say... I feel like fungus and or whatever because your scalp is moist, it's hot, it's got a bunch of hair, things can hide. I have very thick hair. Let me tell you, I don't know what was growing in there, but it was a type of itch that you couldn't scratch. And I couldn't get to it because my hair was all knotted. So when she was washing it, it was like, Ooh, oh, it felt so good. Oh my gosh, it felt good. But, you know. After that, I, she she had, you know, set me up. I was like, okay, so what kind of style you had? I had to myself. I was mad. I was like, I don't want a style. That's fine. She was, she was kept looking at me with concern. You, so what are you going to, no, this is fine. She was like, well, let me at least just, get, I was like, she was like, well, let me just put some gel in it, you know, like a wash and go or something. I was like, that's fine. You know, I was just mad. I just wanted to get it over with. I, I didn't care what it looked like. I still hadn't seen it. I just knew that my hair was gone. <laughs> okay guys, so she left me with an afro. 
it's really short in the middle where the big, big, um, tight clumps were sitting on top of my head. My hair is breathing and my scalp is itching. My scalp is like, yes, freedom. These pieces are really short. But she was like, when it grows out, it'll be layers. I'm like, okay. Y'all, I do not know this hair. I don't know this hair. It's black. <laughs> Back in the day, y'all. Back in the day. <laughs> Cause I've been with my long hair for her. Yes. I remember putting box dyes, like blonde box dyes trying to lighten it up because I thought it was Beyonce. I don't want dark hair, but you know what? I'm going to rock this, bump it. But, it, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, kind of pull this back up a little bit. But So, I will say that I straightened it um, a couple months in and I went to work and, you know, my co-workers, they were really nice to me. <laughs> Although I know they was under their breath like, dang. She don't got that next wing no more though. Now I was still was drinking my favorite water, which I would always preach to people that that makes your hair grow faster. I don't use it as an oil. I actually drink it and eat it and put it on my face sometimes. So I was like, <laughs> but I straightened it, you know, cause I had something to do at work and it was December. It was actually almost a year. And I was like, uh oh, I, I mean, I had a little, I had a little length. I had a little bit. Now, I, I could not believe that my hair had grown that much. Um, like, once you straighten your hair, oh my gosh, you could see so much damage. I had about three to four, maybe five inches of damage. And then I clip, clip, cut off all the dead ends. And I said, you know what? We gonna do this. We gonna grow this hair. We gonna grow it. And so this is what I have now. I washed it and we talked, we friends. Um, this is after after I cut uh, about four inches off the bottom. I feel like this is close to where I started, but I just <sighs> Yeah, I still got the itchies. That that's gonna be a whole nother situation now. That, that, I said, okay. We gonna do this, y'all. We gonna do this. <laughs> because I can't keep going like this and I do want my hair back. Now that we're updated and we have a starting point, we gonna do this, y'all. We gonna do this. I, I really do want to grow my hair back to where it was. And I want, I was looking at the hair videos. It was so, it's so much. This will grow your hair and that will grow your hair and do this with your hair and this gel and this product and I use this and I was like first of all how long am I supposed to be on YouTube to figure out how to get my hair where it needs to be and all of the ways that you keep your hair and I said all right we, we, we gotta we, we, we gotta streamline this it's basically only three things you need to know three things if you know these three things you good you know your hair so that was the update and Thank you guys. I'm so excited that you're going to be on this journey with me. <laughs> that is my update. I am not my hair. It still lies. I was my hair. I was.